So here I am at the Rab showroom. Uh, loads of people in there, loads of YouTubers. It's great to sort of finally meet them. You feel like you've known them in Australia. Um, so a lot of cameras sticking about everywhere. Um, but it seems like a really good group. We've had a bit of breakfast to put out for us, a bit, bit of food. And then we're going to start the presentation and that's soon. So yeah, looking forward to it. One of the big changes to Summer Spring 22 was our new relaunch line of sleeping bags. So, first call of the day was to be sort of shown the technologies that go into the down sleeping bags, the different ranges. And they talked about like the fill power of the down. It starts from synthetic and then it goes across to like the more insulative. And then they tell us about all the different polymers and things that they use to create the various ranges. I mean, a lot of this stuff is designed specifically for alpinists and it's good, reliable stuff. But their products are not just designed to be insulative and long lasting. They also use products that are less likely to release plastics and other toxins into the environment. So they aim to become a climate neutral company by 2030. So now we're going over to the down filling station, but we had a chat with the girl Lauren and we was like, how did you come up with the people you were taking here? Because there's a mix of sort of people like Paul Messon and your Abbey Barnes with a lot of subscribers and then we're sort of mid-range I like to think and then a few smaller YouTubers and uh, they said that they literally had a list of hundreds of YouTubers and they whittled them down and so it's nice to think that we've all been sort of hand-picked for this. So Rab was created by the mountaineer Rab Carrington, founded in 1981 with the goal of hand making climbing kit to perform in extreme conditions. In the beginning they used to create 20 bags a day, hand stuffing each pre-weighed bundle of down feathers into each individual baffle. Today there's a computerised air pumping process which allows them to produce up to 200 items per day. Although the technology has changed, they still try to live up to Rab's original standards, creating gear that the mountaineering community still rely upon today. Although Rab is a locally founded company, it's an international enterprise. The down filling takes place in the UK, but the material for the bags is put together abroad and then sent over here where they fill them. It's also worth noting that the down, although not ethically sourced, they say that the term ethically sourced is a bit of a grey sentence that they don't like to use. The term that they prefer to use is responsibly sourced down because obviously the down is still part of a farming process. However, they are taking on different ways of combating how the down is sourced. And one of the ways they're doing this now is by recycling down. And they have a recycle center in the factory. So they encourage you to come and bring your old down products, regardless of the brand, and they will sort it for reuse. And now we've been given our own wrap <coughs> sleeping bags. So. Yes, how exciting. As we continued to look around the factory, we were shown the various services that RAB offer to help prolong the life of their RAB and Low Alpine products, including warranty, repairs, washing, and now they even offer RAB rental for those who either cannot afford the products or would like to give a product a test run or will only require them for a short amount of time. And then we got to look around the factory shop where there was numerous items at incredible discounted prices. After the tour of the factory, we returned to HQ for a spot of lunch and to have a look through our bags of goodies. So we've just all been given a, book, a goodie bag, some bits in there. Like a 
coffee bits and bobs. After spending a little bit of time getting to know the other YouTubers and the Rab team, we then headed out to the edge of the Peak District, meeting at the Robin Hood pub before heading up to the campsite to set up camp for the night to test out our sleeping bags. So off to the campsite now. I bought a cloud peak today, I haven't used that one for a little while, thought I'd have a go. Probably be surrounded by hillebergs and scarps and what have you. Uh, I do notice that I'm the only one, like everyone else has got like GoPros, DSLRs and uh, I've got a little Sony Handycam <laughs> with a bit of uh, foam stuck to the front of it. Budget Trev. I do wonder why Rab picked me. Here we are, look. Home foot night. It's like a YouTuber's convention. Influencers are us. So we've all got the new Rab sleeping bag to try out. Got a nice warm jacket. I'm not sure if it's a down jacket. I haven't had a quick, proper look at it yet. But uh, we're gonna go and do a bit of a hike in a minute. Which is what I'm looking forward to. I've been most excited. Uh, it's nice, obviously, having new gear, free gear, and uh, rab, to say the least. Here we are. <coughs> Only two hands. All wrapped up, look. A new down jacket. I don't know if it's a colour I'd have chosen, but it's alright, isn't it? I don't mind blue, to be honest. Warm, toasty. And then look, my sleeping bag. Look at this, look. Three gifts, the perks of being Now that's, uh, yes, and all the food we've had all day, great. So yeah, it's the, the newest model of the Rab collection, the Alpine 600. 650 fill power, European hydrophobic duck down, minus nine to 15 degrees. It's got all your details in there. Limit of comfort extreme, minus 32 Celsius, minus 26 Fahrenheit. Comfort minus five to 23 Fahrenheit. Weighs 1,050 grams, 100% polymide, recycled fibers. So yeah, it's good having a look around the Rab factory today. I wish I'd have known that we was gonna get a discount at the factory shop because uh, there were some really good prices on things there, but I sort of spent all my money on the way up here yesterday stopping at different places <laughs> making sure I had a rab jacket to come because that was one of the things I said make sure you wear your rab gear I didn't have any so I bought a, a rab jacket yesterday probably would have been able to buy the same one today for half the price but there you go trevved it right up hey. oh, what have you got there Oh nice, it looks softer than it is, exactly. it, I mean it feels yeah. softer than it looks. I'm, uh, I'm hoping you won't get a shit from it, but um, <laughs> I can't guarantee that. No guarantee for that. 
hill so we're going to get up to this ridge line do, do you remember, hear what ridge they said it was called uh, no <laughs> gritstone. it's a gritstone ridge i'm sure someone will tell us something <laughs> at some point <laughs> so the walk took place up to birchen edge it was only a short walk but we was joined by professional mountain climber Andy Cave and he would later on join us in the Robin Hood pub where he conducted an informative chat about mountaineering. This is what it's all about in here. Look at these views. This is the campsite. I find it difficult today to do my video in and I keep hearing everyone else saying things and I think, well I don't want to say that because they've said that in their videos. How can I be different? I just won't say or film anything. <laughs> They're leaving you. <laughs> oh, you'll be back the pub before us. We'll get around him. At the end of the day, we started our descent back down the rock face, having a bit of a scramble on the way, led by Andy Cave. And then we went back to the pub for a pub lunch before heading back to the tents to test out the sleeping bag. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to the vlog. Well, good night Robin. Yeah, name it. Nice to have met you. See you at half four in the morning. Five. <laughs> See you at five, yeah. See you'll be about. <laughs> I might just stay up. So we're thinking of stopping up and doing some night hiking. Night nap if anybody's interested. <laughs> Time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather hike now than half four in the morning, I think. I think I would, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm in the tent. That was a really not good evening. Sat with some good chaps, having a good chat, just about life in general, um, and YouTube, a lot of chat about YouTube, with the likes of Paul Messner, and Walks with Wallace, and... Uh, it used to be Renegade Scott, I think he's RS Outdoors now, what did he say? And uh, another chap, Andy. Yeah, good, four good lads. Had a really nice evening. Lovely food. And uh, beer on tap. Just every time we finish a beer. Have another one, then. It's like, all paid for. Just gone right to my head. But now I'm in my 
in my tent, I can try my new sleeping bag, I might try out my new toilet roll. But no, those guys from lab, they went through a lot of effort for us today and yeah, really enjoyed the day. And tomorrow morning, we're getting up at half past four in the morning and going for a hike up to the top of the hill to watch the sunrise. I don't think we're going to see the sunrise, I think it's going to be misty. I don't think I'm going to manage getting up at <laughs> half four in the morning at this rate. Pretty tired. 3.05. An hour and a half. I've reached a point where I'm struggling to sleep. I must say that the sleeping bag. Really comfy and really warm. It's not too cold a night tonight, to be fair. I'm in a t shirt, I'm in my shorts. I wouldn't have been wearing t shirts and shorts the last time I was out. Oh, just, yeah, just lying awake. I sort of slept well to about one. Now I'm just fidgeting. I'll try and sleep. Oh. Mm. It's ten to five. My alarm did go off at half past four. But I actually fell asleep <laughs> as soon as it went off. Decided then I was like, that's when I'm going to sleep. Get my trouser legs back on. With a thick head. Our sort of excursion is coming to an end. Trek up and some breakfast. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning. How's it going out there? You alright? Oh, are you out? Out? I'm out out there. What's it like out there? Uh, I can just about make out the moon. Oh. Just make out the, the crags we were on yesterday. So ah, sorry, you can see something then. Yeah. Ah. Right, Let's see. So this is pretty much the end of the day. Well, it's not, it's the beginning of the day, the end of the event. I'm sorry, we're sat up on, what's this ridge called again? Is it Birchin Ridge? Yeah. Birchin Edge. Birchin Edge. I knew it was Birchin something. So we're here on Birchin Edge, just having a spot of breakfast. We're gonna watch the sun come up, but it's a bit overcast. I think the sun's over that way somewhere. But it's been a really great event. It's great to meet a lot of different people. The guys who've organised it have done a stellar job, really. Absolutely brilliant. And it's made me realise just how accessible the Peak District is from the southwest. So I will be coming back and doing some Peak District soon, for sure. Getting some miles in. I could have done that today, really. I didn't think about it. Yeah, just have some breakfast, taking some views. Chilling. Cool.